Hi everyone, it's Eugen from Go4x4 here. We are talking today about our camping gear. Yes, this video is a bit different than our usual videos, um, which are mostly silent. This time I'm gonna talk to you guys about what we're taking with us, because we had a lot of inquiries from you about various different items we are using. There's Ted. Ted, come here. Hey, buddy. I'm gonna talk basically about everything from our tent to the mattress, tables, chairs, everything. Uh, our favorite lanterns here. And uh, maybe if you like this type of videos, I can do them from time to time as well. What is our favorite camping equipment, for example? Oh, Ted is having a zoomie. <laughs> if you're new to this channel um, and you haven't seen our videos yet, we're doing mostly car camping. We have our Jeep two-door JK. It's not the biggest forward drive, therefore we don't have that much space in there. So our gear is all basically set up for a small space forward drive. It means it's mostly a compact gear, which expands into more comfortable, bigger items, basically. Most of the items, not every item, is selected with, with the size in the back mine. So I'm probably gonna start with uh, the mattress. The mattress we are using is a self-inflating mattress from Coleman. Um, it's a pretty new product, I think they released it only a couple of months ago and I have to say it's pretty awesome. The pros of that are it's self-inflating, obviously. It's very soft and uh, isolates the cold very well. That means you're not going to feel the cold through a mattress, like for example if you use an air mattress you feel quite cold underneath, so you need a couple of layers of uh, blankets or anything like that to isolate that. This mattress is pretty good, you don't need much. The cone of this mattress would be probably the size. Even so, it is probably one of the smallest self-inflatable mattresses I've seen so far, so it's still very compact, but compared obviously to a same size air mattress, it is probably three times bigger. Next one is the doggy bed. There's not much to tell about it, it's pretty straightforward. You unpack it and it just expands really easily like that. Our dog loves it. Ted, Ted is all over it. Every time I open the dog bed, he immediately jumps on it and just chills the whole day. So yeah, this dog bed, definitely can recommend. I don't really see any cones on that. Um, it can also uh, handle pretty heavy weights as well because we had basically not only Ted on it, but also myself and and uh, my fiance. This dog bed, yeah, I would probably recommend and we're gonna probably use it for quite a while. Then we have got um, a very popular item, a lot of people asking about it, is our Austral Frontier Grail. The concept is very simple and it's very efficient, so yeah, I can see why it's so popular. It's basically a metal pole which goes into the earth with a little hammer and then you put uh, different attachments on it, like for something to hang or a grill, for example. Again, this is an item I really like as well, and I use it a lot. And probably the, the only con about it I could think of is that you need to get the angle right. So if you get the angle right, everything is perfect, but sometimes it's a bit on the an angle, and then when you put, you know, fry pan or anything like that on it, um, you know, the oil or butter is just goes to one side. Then we got uh, our two tables. One is from Zempire and one is from Coleman. So the Coleman one we use mostly for food prep and cutting vegetables and all kind of stuff like that. Uh, mostly stays in the car or next to the car. And then we got our Zempire table, which is a bamboo table. I think it's a very good looking table, first of all, because it's, it's bamboo. When we select our items, we're not only looking at um, their purpose but also at how they look because we value um, good looking camping gear when you sit out there in, in outdoor settings. Obviously a bamboo uh, style table fits much more with the nature and uh, you know doesn't destroy your feel of being outdoors. So this is why we, uh, when we select our items we definitely look also at how they look like. And I think this table ticks almost not almost, but pretty much all boxes for us for a table. First of all, it's very compact, uh, so it fits very nicely in our Jeep. Uh, second, it's very good looking, as I said before. And uh, third, it's uh, very functional, so it's, it's, it's a very good, stable, sturdy table. Perfect table for us. Uh, there's one little cone, 
if you use it on the beach, for example, or anywhere where you have sand uh, where, uh, which can get in, the legs, the leg height is adjustable, yes, but it's a twist adjust, and it's not like a clip adjust like on the Coleman table. <coughs> so if sand gets stuck in there, it's sometimes very difficult or even impossible to get it out again. So uh, you need to be mindful with this kind of tables with that. Then we got our um, beautiful Coleman lanterns here. We got two of those, two different ones. One is the uh, North Star. It's basically a very iconic lantern for Coleman. I believe the logo is basically a silhouette of this lantern. The other one is a powerhouse dual fuel. Um, also a very amazing good lantern. Um, look, these lanterns are pretty old school. Why we have them? They provide a very nice and natural light. They're very bright. You can power them with uh, fuel. They don't need recharging or anything like that. You put in fuel and they start working. And they last quite long as well with one fuel tank. You can maintain them, you can buy parts for them. If something breaks, you don't really have to throw the whole lantern away. You can just buy that part which is broken for that. The cones are obviously, uh, first of all, the size. They're not compact at all, uh, very bulky. And second, the mantle. Mantle needs to be changed quite often. They break, you need to basically have always a spare mantle, otherwise you're gonna be stranded basically without light. And yeah, there you, you can't recharge them obviously like LED lights with power. We are happy to make those uh, compromises for these lanterns because I just love the looks, the style of them and the feel of them. They're very kind of uh, rustic old looking and we're definitely going to use them for a very long time and I'm not looking to replace them all. We have a couple of LED lights as well. It's an inflatable light. Uh, which is also amazing. It recharges itself in the sun basically during the day and it lasts also quite a long time but we use them mostly inside of the car or inside of the tent because these lanterns we can't use inside of the tent. It's not for indoors, it's outdoor lantern so never use those lanterns inside of the tent. You can, uh, you can poison yourself with, with the gases. We got the Austrail. We got the Austrail Compact Light Explorer chairs. Um, a lot of you inquired about them as well. Um, they are very compact, as I say. So this is the big pro of them. And they expand it to a quite comfortable chair. Uh, but I have to give you some cons about it. So they are not very stable, to be honest. Uh, and I don't think they are very well balanced as well. They are not bad, but I would probably not recommend them. Then. Here are two of our superstars, basically, because everyone is asking about them as well. Uh, those are the, uh, our flies. We have one small one, I think it's 3x3. Three three. We have one big one, a very large one. I will, I will blend the dimensions into the video. So, pretty straightforward. Uh, open up the tar and set it up. They're amazing. As you might have seen in our previous videos, uh, if you haven't seen our previous videos, then uh, please go on our channel and check it out. Uh, those tops have been through everything. They have been through very strong winds, uh, they have been through very strong rains, and uh, they've been through very strong sun as well. We never had issues with them, they never failed on us, and we used them already for over six months now, I think. Um, so, so far, so good. Uh, I can't complain about them, and I don't really have any cons. We usually bring our poles with us as well um, to set up those tarps. It's still much more compact than a gazebo, for example. If you have used a gazebo before, you know that it is quite a bulky item. For this tarp, you all, all you need is, it depends if it's a small tarp, you probably need just two poles of those. If it's a big tarp, three, uh, probably four to six poles would be enough. But you can also go out in the nature and find yourself a stick that's long enough, then you don't even need any poles. So basically you can use any stick. Don't cut it off of living trees, obviously, but the one on the ground, just put up the stick and then you can use it as a pole. So basically all you need is a towel. And it's a great shelter. Another advantage to gazebo is you can shape them as you want. You can uh, basically set them up that they don't build uh, like rain pools. When it's raining, gazebos, tend to have these pools where water collects and, the, and it's just hanging down. 
Uh, the tarps can do that as well if you don't set it up uh, correctly, but you have the option to set draining points where the water can flow off and you have no issues at all. So they're much more suitable for rains and heavy rains. So we, we got a little bit more stuff uh, inside the car, but I think I'm gonna do that uh, in a separate video for you guys because I wanna do a walk around uh, our Jeep as well and show you how our Jeep is set up and uh, how it looks like inside. And we usually use our boxes up there for our sleeping bags. Obviously in the winter, they are much bigger, so they occupy almost the whole space up there. But uh, in the summer, it's basically one box sleeping bag and the other one, you know, wherever doesn't fit into the car. Uh, I usually try to keep my roof on the, on the Jeep as light as possible. Today I have two new items with me. Um, one of them is a Blue Eti solar panel. And the other one is a sorry, I forgot to take it out. The other one is a Blue Eighty um, power station. So I just got this awesome items um, two or three days ago, and it's my first camping trip. I'm taking them, so. I can't really tell you much about it, um, but there will be probably a dedicated video just for those items. I'm, I used to use an AGM battery before to power my fridge and camera gear. This is a lithium battery, and uh, so far I'm very impressed. I test run my fridge on it for over two days, and it still had plenty of batteries. It's smaller than my AGM battery setup. The solar panels are half or even less the size of my other solar panels. Very compact. I think I'm going to do something like blue 80 uh, lithium battery versus my old AGM. Pros and cons of both. Uh, if you guys are interested in that, let me know in the comments. Our tent is from Coleman, uh, called Svega 3P. They name it Svega because it's kind of a combination from a swag and a tent. Uh, it's very compact and it's very easy to set up and quick. Uh, we use it pretty much on every trip. The main tent you can set up probably within less than a minute and then it has also a fly uh, which you can put on top of it uh, and it's very storm resistant. We had uh, pretty heavy storms and rains with the tent and um, it stood the ground very well. Uh, no rain came in um, so it's really really waterproof. It's quite spacious. Uh, it looks quite small from outside but it's very spacious inside. The pros are extremely weather resistant, very easy to set up, pretty compact. I wouldn't say the most compact tent out there but definitely more compact than uh, Svegs. Um, not as compact as you know some very lightweight uh, tents. So far we had only good experience with that and uh, it's been holding up really well. We don't really have any issues. We just got one little hole in the net but that was completely our fault. We also have a Zempire one leg version uh, table. Pretty much like the grill, you need to nail that uh, pole into the ground and then you can screw the tabletop on top of it. Works really well but the cones are, it has to be really straight. Another cone was surprisingly I did a mistake uh, and put too much weight onto the table and uh, the tabletop came straight off really easily. Uh, I checked on the bottom and, and the metal bracket there came completely off and I noticed that the screws they use are really really short. Um, there's plenty of thickness in the, in the timber. I don't understand why they use such a short uh, screws there but, but it was an easy fix for me. I basically replaced all the screws with much longer and stronger screws uh, and since then it's been very very sturdy and, and stable. Uh, if you buy this table I would highly recommend to replace the screws straight away. That way you're not going to be surprised you know, when you're camping. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I hope I answered all your questions about our camping items. If you like this video please leave a like and a comment. We read every single comment. Um, I'm sorry if we can't reply to every single one of them, but I guarantee you we read every single comment and we are happy about every single comment. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.